G'day viewers, it's Shane here from Red Tech. We're up the end of Sarah's garden here and we're looking for a wasp's nest. I have got my wasp suit on, there I am, bee suit, and we're trying to find an active wasp's nest, which what's exciting about it is it's the first one of the year. <laughs> so where is it? Now the gardener was up here the other day and got stung doing a bit of pruning. You think, where where could that wasp nest be? Now, as you walk up the steps here, if you bang on here like that, there they come. Can you hear them? See them? It's a bit hard to see. They're flying around that little tree there in this pot. Why is there wasps flying around the tree in this pot? Well, I'm just getting my other glove on so I can show you. This is a little bay tree. So I'm sure people are probably taking the little, oh, Sarah's probably taking the leaves off. Look, see this? Can you see them? That's me stood, they're coming for me. That's me just stood near the tree. The vibration of me just stepping onto the decking has caused these guys to go a bit nuts. Now, if we look in here, Oh, they really are not happy about me being here. Can you see that? Look at that. Beautiful wasp nest just in there. And they've built that over the last probably six weeks or so inside this tree. What a place to put it. But it's so dense, the foliage here, that it is protected from the rain because that's made of paper and you think as soon as it rains, it's gonna fall a bit. They really are not happy about me being here. So, I don't want to get stung today. <laughs> I always say, if I get stung, I'm not doing it right. So I don't get stung, I've got a bee suit on. I'm gonna step back for a minute and just let them calm down. And then uh, I'll treat the nest. And, and what I'm gonna do is actually cut it out of the tree. So I'll show you that in a minute. Right, I have Oop, excuse me. I have injected the nest and already the wasp activity has ceased. I just sprayed it with an insecticide spray uh, using a um, like a straw straight into the nest. Then I've snipped away the main branches so it should be able to, I should be able to lift this out. I think, I'm trying to get it in full so I don't break it so you can see it. It's a little bit tricky. The tree is quite dense. Here we go. Is it gonna? Oh, it is. I think, I think we've got it. Here we go. Look, there she is. Look at that. That's where I've just chopped the, the branch off there. There's a bit of a little bit of a had a little bit of a haircut, <laughs> but it'll fill in pretty quickly. The old bay tree, they don't mind a prune. And there we are. There we are. Have a look at that. The I did a video uh, the other day that you can see. I'll put a link to it actually in, from this video. What's inside a wasp nest? And but yeah, they um they make this simply by scraping the wood off the fence. And it's in construction. You can see how it's not completed. The final layer, out layer, is still coming, is being built. So they're wrapping it. They're wrapping this nest, wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it, and that, that helped protect it from the rain. But that's sit, sitting in there, and we've had some heavy rain. That's fairly dry. It's a bit damp at the bottom, but I think that's just where I've sprayed it. Look at that. Can you see that leaf there, the way it's... They've used it. They've woven it into the nest. A bit of rain protection bending those leaves down and over. But it had to go. This is the fence, the kids in it, there's kids next door. Kids running and playing just here. And uh, people living here. This is the, the barbecue area. <laughs> and the garden got stung the other day. So these guys were very much uh, active. As you saw, when I stood up here, they went for me straight away. They're all over me. So there you go. One wasp nest removed from the bay tree. No one got hurt. All good. Thanks for watching the video. 
uh, click the links if you want to see any other videos. We'll have this on uh, YouTube. And if you've got a wasp nest, give us a call. Thank you.